That's night. right. The snow started falling there just within the past hour and isn't expected to stop until as much as eight inches of snow is on the ground. 10 News reporter Dan Perlman is live in Barlesville right now. So what are the conditions there, Dan? Looking not so good. Well yeah, Karen, you know, if you take a look behind me at Highway 75, you can see the snow is already starting to stick to the road. It's also really starting to stick to the grass out here. The people in town, though, tell me they are ready for this. Damn, they eat this up in a day. Inside the Bartlesville Food Pyramid. Uh, shopping, trying to beat the storm, trying to beat the weather. So. Marcus Johnson and his daughters are far oh, from right. alone. I'm getting some groceries, so in case I get to stay home tomorrow, I'll have something to cook. Long lines greeted customers at every grocery store we checked. At the bread aisle, it's not much here. And that means customers like Candy Friend are making some adjustments. We're kind of particular about the bread that we get, but we're not being too choosy tonight. Not far from the grocery store, the Washington County Emergency Management Office is ready. We're in a wait and see mode. Tonight, the roads around Bartlesville have mostly just been wet. Emergency Management Director Kerry Cox told me there's actually a silver lining with this storm. It's all supposed to come overnight. We're hoping because of that that there'll be very minimal traffic to have to deal with, which hopefully will minimize the number of stranded motorists or, or the number of traffic issues that we'll have. Kerry says crews will be called in as needed. In the meantime, many people around town are hoping for a snow day. Um, two because. And they already have plans. I'm going to make a snowman. But whatever your plans are, road crews ask that you stay at home at least through the morning. Hopefully that'll allow time for the crews to get out there, get the roadways cleared, and not have to deal with the traffic issues. Now, I did just get off the phone with Kerry Cox. He told me the county truck should hit the road around 5 a.m. Live in Bartlesville, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.